Uh, do you want to intro the show? What is that? What we do? I don't even. I guess we don't have a thing yet. No. Welcome to the Go Pilots. <laughs> <laughs> it's our energy. Yeah, I'm Andrew Secunda. My name is Sean Conroy. My guest today is Sean Conroy. Thank you. Folks, we're here to talk about TV pilots, and there's a reason we started doing this, and it's because Andy and I both love TV. We've worked in TV for a long time. We enjoy watching TV. We both own TVs. I have more of a love-hate relationship with TV than Sean does, but uh, yes, we definitely love to discuss it for sure. I love watching pilots. Pilots specifically. Pilots specifically. Right. Well, then that's convenient based on the... The way we premise of the show. the show, yeah. Do you enjoy watching pilots? I, I, <laughs> I think it's tough because generally speaking, pilots are often the worst episode of a series, or at least the most challenging episode of a series, because there's so much you have to establish. There's so many hands on it in terms of you know uh, producers and studio and network influence sometimes actors it's such an uphill battle to make it a good episode of the show there's so much to accomplish you're introducing people for the first time and you're hoping that people fall in love with these people enough to keep watching them on a regular basis in a world so i don't know that i would say i like watching pilots mm -hmm. but i do like thinking about pilots right because it's it's almost like uh this is gonna be a weird metaphor uh in mad max beyond thunderdome uh <laughs> Max is dropped into this dome, uh -huh. and he's like, I don't know what it is. And people are throwing weapons at him and whatever and all this stuff. And you, they have to figure it out. And that is what I enjoy in a pilot, is sort of seeing them figure it out as they're going. Uh -huh. And analyzing when it's working and when it's not working, and when it feels like it has legs and when it doesn't, when they make crazy decisions or when crazy decisions are foisted upon them. And that is what interests me. But I would say, generally speaking... And it's true of many of even ones that you've recommended to me, quintessential ones being Deadwood and the Wire, mm -hmm. which, and I, I think we've disagreed with about this already on the on the podcast. There's so many things we disagree about, but go ahead. Yes, but in the Wire, uh, I would say it's episode four. That's right. like where the engine starts running, which we completely disagree about because right. I feel hooked after the first scene in the pilot of the Wire. Right. Whereas I'm like, I'm turning this off. This is written by a moron, Andy. You got to try it again. <laughs> Keep watching. What do you mean? This is barely literate. This wasn't written by an ex-journalist. This was I'm written by a I'm telling you, give it a crack. I feel like what you're saying, if I'm if I'm hearing you correctly, is you enjoy the process more than the product, and a pilot isn't necessarily something you enjoy watching so much as you enjoy picking it apart. I mean, that's I can't make that global statement because some of them are. are just fantastically entertaining sure i have a different take on it okay. which is i love watching pilots because it's so filled with infinite possibility like they might not get it right this time they might get it right next time it's like watching a child being born you know yeah. most of them are going to end up being pieces of shit <laughs> <laughs> but in that first moment of birth it's right. just the wonder of life of something coming to life and you're like holy shit this is something and well, then you start to go but they didn't do this they didn't tell us this i'm not that interested in it you know whatever which is how i feel about children as well i mean every direction i'm i'm thinking of going in to follow that metaphor is going to be one that's going to be bad news <laughs> love into... throwing a baby into a thunderdome <laughs> I mean, imagine a baby trying to figure out Thunderdome. Uh, this metaphor, you know, it doesn't work. Anyway, uh, yeah, you're saying the, the promise. I get it. Uh, and I, and I, I just, it fills me with hope every time I see a pilot, even though I know I'm watching it long after it failed miserably or was just terrible or, you know, or, or did very well. But I just love seeing that moment and thinking about it from the point of view of the person who put the pilot together. You know, I mean, that's I think we're on the same page there. So it's lucky uh, that we decided on this podcast where every episode we will restack it again. I like the thing you said a few weeks ago of like, we should point out that we're television writers who've been slightly successful, but still have plenty of time to make a podcast about television. Yes. <laughs> and one of the things is we're not touting ourselves as experts, either on the form or on each individual pilot. This is not going to be a studied history of each show. We may make factual mistakes. Mm -hmm. There's Probably. just 
so many things that could go wrong here. Yeah, I'm very big on pronunciation and getting facts wrong. <laughs> so we'll probably have an email at some point that you can kind of write in and say, hey, you got this wrong. And you know, speaking for myself, I welcome it. I'd love to be educated. Not me. You can't tell me anything. <laughs> it's just a thick wall. <laughs> welcome to Copilots. I didn't even know we had a theme song. That's the theme song. Oh, I like it. <laughs>